We'll open it up into Photoshop. Give it a second to bounce around. <laughs> All right, y'all pay attention. Once you're in Photoshop, you need to set it the correct size. What size is y'all's mat board? Do y'all remember? Did y'all bring Tabloid? No, it's not tabloid 14 size. By 11, 14. 11 by 14, I think, is what it is. Oh, yeah. So, we need to set your image size to fill that particular area. And I want to say I took this on my iPod, yeah, 11 by 14. I'm going to make it slightly smaller so that it fits on there. So, 10 by whatever happens to work out. We're not going to worry too much with resolution, but I'll bump it up just for the, for the heck of it. <laughs> okay. So once I've got it set up, the easy thing to do, we're going to add two adjustment layers, and they have to go in this order. They're out of order, you'll see what will happen. First thing we want to do is turn it black and white. Black and white set up for there. You can adjust your levels if you want to, but we're going to break it up into the different uh, shadow shapes of this for you really easily. And we're going to do that by using the posterize adjustment. With posterize, this is what it looks like. See how easy it is to determine shadow shapes, different mm -hmm. shapes of the things? Now, of course, you're still going to be looking at your normal photograph, but this helps you trace off something a whole lot easier. If you want to give it more levels, bump this up. The one I used was about seven. The more you add, the more details you're going to have to be able to trace off. Of course, the more details, the more lines you have to trace, a little bit longer it'll take, but it'll give you a little bit better quality. Don't do something like this where it's just two different things. That, that, looks, that looks horrible. Three is eh, still probably not enough. It's enough to at least tell who the person is. Four, five, six, seven or so, that's pretty good. Once you start getting too many, then you pretty much have a photograph. There's no need to do that as well. So I'm going to set mine down to seven. What I'm looking for, like I said, highlighted areas, highlight areas for the nose, the shadow shapes, and give me the dark uh, black areas as well. Where those very bright, bright whites are, do you even put anything there? For nope, you're gonna, that's, that's the color of your paper. So if I was to start painting, I could either start painting the straight color on top of here, a darker color, darker color on these particular areas, and then fade into these lighter areas. What I'm going to do is I kind of want to keep all of this light, and I want to paint my background to give that the, uh, the contrast. So you can play around with it however you want or feel comfortable with it. Here's one trap I don't want you to fall into. If you do the posterize first before the black and white, your image is going to look more like this. See how it's way too detailed? Even if I brought it down six, seven. Here's two levels, and notice how I've got you know one, two, three, four different levels from that one. Watch what happens if I just swap out these two levels. Totally different. So make sure your posterize is on top of the black and white and your levels adjustment, and then add your levels from there. You're going to print this off on 11 by 17, so file and print. And if y'all don't remember, uh, just make sure that tabloid size is selected. So I can go to print settings, paper size is tabloid, it's all good. And if you need to rotate it, change your layout rotation to something like this, and that's what you'll print off there as well. Once you've done this one, turn off your posterized layer and then print off a black and white edition of it as well. All cool? Go ahead and print this one off too. Hopefully it'll work. The printer sometimes doesn't like to work out. As soon as you're done, we have the same white table set up. Remember, we only have enough for five or so people, but you're not going to have to print uh, trace off as detailed as it has been before. This is what I want your line drawings to be. Just give yourself notation. That's how light I trace this off. Don't trace it off very dark at all because you're going to keep this light to begin with. You want to be, at least be able to erase it or not be able to see it. If you've got a dark line, it's just harder to erase moving forward with that. But all I did was trace off, give me a notation of my dark areas and my light areas, all the little shapes that when you posterize it, that's what you're going to posterize it to see. This is what you're going to trace off. I did this. Trace it off in less than five minutes. It should not take you very long to be able to do this at all. Cool. 
If you, uh, if you have your own camera, of course you can take your own photograph. If you want to use uh, Photo Booth on here, that tends to work pretty well also. Free app that's on there, you can work with it. Cool. So, this is your first step. You'll take pictures of yourself or load up the picture. <laughs> Selfies! Selfies. <laughs> and uh, jump on a computer and get it done.